Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Luis Tinoca and I'm the coordinator for the Ulysses project here at the University of Lisbon. Ulysses, who's a Greek mythological figure, is also credited by some as being one of the founders of the city of Lisbon. In our case, the Ulysses project stands for University of Lisbon Interdisciplinary Studies on Sustainable Environment and Seas. For today, in this short clarification session, I will give you a brief description of the Ulysses project, approximately 10 minutes, and then we'll have time for any questions or comments that you may have. I also leave you our project website address and our contact email that you can use in the future if you have any other questions that you'd like to pose to us. So, first of all, we should start by recognizing that the Ulysses project has been inspired by another project from the Technical University of Darmstadt called Inspired. Both the University of Lisbon and the University of Darmstadt are part of the UNITE network, which is a, a group of European universities very much focused in processes of innovation, technology and engineering. And the Inspired project tried to do this by developing interdisciplinary programs uh, where students are engaged in team collaboration through the development of a real life research project. In the case of uh, INSPIRE, they were, they were very much focused on space science. In the case of Ulysses, and given the tradition here in Lisbon, uh, we are very much focused on issues related to the sea, to the oceans, to sustainability. So in our case, we started last year with our first edition of this course, and we had last year 86 participants from 10 different countries. Most of them were from here, from the University of Lisbon, 54, but there were also 24 students from other UNITE uh, universities uh, partners, and also eight other students from across the globe, from China to Ecuador. In the case of the Ulysses project, we are very much concerned in this problem of contributing to the development of oceans without plastic. Here in this project, you will engage in developing innovative technological solutions that are able not only to characterize this issue, but also works towards it, its mitigation and reducing the pollution made, to, made by plastics in particular, ensuring greater biodiversity and also the sustainable reuse of these plastics in applications with economic value. In order to become a student of Ulysses, all you need to be is a student currently enrolled in a university undergraduate or graduate program, or very recently graduated. Uh, you should also have, of course, given our topic, a general interest in ocean sciences, ecology, environment, health and life sciences, biology, chemistry, engineering, and interdisciplinarity as a whole. Uh, to give you an idea, in our first edition last year, we had students from a wide range of disciplines, from environmental engineering, uh, to civil engineering, to um, pharmacy, to biology, to medicine, to veterinary studies, so a very wide range of participants. The five main goals that guide this program are, first of all, to create an environment where you'll take part in real life research through interdisciplinary teams, working with colleagues from a wide range of science uh, backgrounds and also from different countries. Content-wise, we are very much focused on the recognition of the oceans as a critical source of resources and wealth, and also to identify the sources of ocean pollution, in particular, in our case, uh, plastic pollution, and its critical impact, as well as the main techniques that can be used to mitigate them. Furthermore, we also hope that this uh, program will allow you to explore future education and career perspectives by giving you the opportunity to get in contact with a wider range of um, science uh, backgrounds. Uh, the course is organized in two phases, an initial preparatory phase lasting for 10 weeks, followed by a team project phase lasting for three weeks. The preparatory phase is then completely online using our uh, organizational Moodle platform. 
Uh, this is then doing uh, only asynchronous activities, meaning that you do not need to be online at any particular moment. You can organize your own agenda and participation and contribution according to your own availability. Uh, our expectation here is that this uh, engagement during these 10 weeks should take you a maximum of eight hours per week, depending on your previous contact and expertise with the topics that are being covered week by week. So some weeks may take you a little bit less, some weeks you can take up to eight hours to get through the material that we are working with. And this will start on March 21st. Following this, we will have a team project phase that is scheduled to take place here in Lisbon in face-to-face -face environment uh, for three weeks during the month of July, starting Monday, July 4th. So three weeks starting July 4th. Last year, unfortunately, because of the pandemic situation, we were not able to do this face-to-face. -face, so we had to do this uh, virtually also. But we are confident that this year, uh, we should be able to do this in presence here in Lisbon. This team project phase includes three weeks in total, two initial weeks uh, supervised of guided project, where you will be working under the supervision of a mentor, and then an additional self-organized week, where you'll have to work within your team to solve a challenge that has been presented to you in the beginning of the team project phase related to ocean sustainability. During these three weeks, you will work in a team, approximately eight to 10 participants. We, are, we will see who progresses to this, to this phase to decide this part. And you will have the support of a team mentor who is going to be a scientific assistant in the area that you are researching, but also the support of uh, our advisors and our virtual help desk. And finally, our experts, our professors here at the University of Lisbon, who you will have access to, and who will also work with you midway through this team project phase, doing small conferences on specific topics that are critical to solving the problem that is going to be posed to you. Finally, to finish up, um, I should also point out that being an interdisciplinary project like this is, we also have an interdisciplinary coordination. We have on the one hand, a scientific coordination where we have four out of the 18 schools of the University of Lisbon that are engaged, in particular technical, which is our largest and uh, engineering school. Um, with over 10,000 students, but also the Institute of Agronomy, the Faculty of Pharmacy, and the Faculty of Sciences. These are in charge of the scientific part, and you will have contact with professors from all of them, both during the preparatory phase and then during the team project phase. Didactical coordination is taken up by the Institute of Education, where I myself am from, even though I also have a background in, in engineering and in, in the Faculty of Sciences, where I've studied physics. Uh, to finish up, let me tell you that we have a total of six ECTS credits awarded by this course, and these are divided three for the preparatory phase, that will be given once you finish that part, and three more credits once you finish the team project phase. Regarding uh, the tuition, there's a cost for the course of 600 euros, but there's also a full scholarship for any students coming from Unite University. So if you are a student that belongs to one of the universities in the Unite network, you do not have to pay any tuition for the course. And these universities are the Technical University of Darmstadt in Germany, Aalto University in Finland, the Grenoble Institute in France, KTH Royal Institute of Technology from Sweden, the Politecnico di Torino from Italy, uh, the Università Politecnica de Catalunya from Spain, here the University of Lisbon, the University of Graz in Austria, and the Wroclaw University of Science and Technology. So this has been a very short and brief introduction to our project. I now welcome any questions or comments that you may have, and I'm open to you.